<laughs> Hello and welcome folks. My name is Fake Fairy Tale and today I have something new for you all, which is an asset pack review. There are many great asset producers out there and because I want to help you improve your map making skills, finding good artists with a decent portfolio of assets can really help you up your game. Also, knowing what packs work together well and what their strengths are can really come in handy. A little disclaimer up front, these videos aren't sponsored. Nobody is paying me to review their assets and you'll get my honest opinion on each pack I check out. Though then again, I'll focus on the ones that I like most, so I'll probably be quite positive in general. I'll compare each pack to the one that I'm currently using, which is Forgotten Adventures Dungeon Draft Integration. Simply because I'm most familiar with it and it's what I always use to make my maps. Also, it has to be said that I compare them from a Dungeon Draft perspective, not their use for Clip Studio Paint or any other editing software. Now, without further ado, today we'll be checking out the Creator Sunless of White Fox Works. I'm working on two maps in the background, Forgotten Adventures on the left and White Fox Works on the right. Both are made exclusively with their respective assets and do not contain any other assets from Dungeon Draft itself or any other asset packs. I'll have a hybrid map made from both these assets in a minute. White Fox Works has over 11,000 assets which are available for a mere $3 per month on our Patreon from her lowest tier. However, every pack she releases also comes with a free pack that contains a selection of the assets. If after this video you're not sure if you want to commit, I suggest checking out the free packages to see if you like it. I'll link to her and also the Forgotten Adventures Patreon in the video description. The files she drops on Patreon are mainly PNGs, which you can use for Clip Studio Paint or Photoshop. But her pre-packed assets for Dungeon Raft can be found in her Discord server. She has an active community in which she herself spends a lot of time as well. And I've spent some time in there, mainly lurking of late, but it's a very positive place and genuinely nice to hang out. Now, as you already might notice in the background, White Fox Works assets generally have more vibrant colors and, depending on the age of the assets, are a bit further away from realism than the Forgotten Adventure assets are. I noticed, however, that especially with the new assets, the difference is less apparent, and in my experience, the assets of both Forgotten Adventures and White Fox Works can be combined very well with some additional shading. If the colors are a bit too bright for your taste, I again suggest shading them a bit to turn them down slightly. Overall, the strengths of White Fox Works are that they fill in a bunch of niches that larger asset producers haven't touched upon yet. She has many different styles of furniture, like biking or elven, but also cat toys, ice furniture, or clothing, and much, much more. The brighter colors can give a lush and happy atmosphere to your map, something like you might see in Toussaint from The Witcher 3 if you're familiar with it. Additionally, there are many different modular assets in our packs, from crates and barrels to alchemy tables, which give you free reign to build things you like. And many assets also have a colorful variant. I'll dive into my favorite assets and the general collection White Fox Works has in just a minute. Although I'm a big fan of her work, there are also some gaps or potential things one might not like in the assets that I'll quickly want to go over. If bright in color isn't your thing, some assets might not be a very good match for you. Some of the older assets that haven't been reworked yet do require some additional shadowing and that gives a bit of extra work. Some of the assets are very unique and for that reason might not be used very often. In the current packaging for Dungeon Draft, it's also not possible to turn those off. So if you'd want to separate them from the rest, you'd have to repackage the PNGs. Also, I'd say that generally there are less assets for dungeons than for homes, for example. So if making dungeons or dark and creepy places is what you're into, this pack might not cover it all for you. In addition to that, the packs are somewhat lacking in specific areas, like textures or patterns. Though, I'll give you an overview of the maps that I definitely use White Fox Works asset for in just a second. Having said all that though, I think it should be taken into account that Sunless does most of the things on her own. She puts a lot of time and effort in expanding the categories of the assets that she has and has a steady supply of new packs coming out each month. It's impossible to cover everything at once, so it might require just a bit of patience to wait for the assets you're looking for. 
If, however, you'd like to influence the assets that are produced, she has a tier on her Patreon that will allow you to vote as well. She's very involved with her community and respects the votes on what pack to create next. Now, back to map making. What would I recommend using these assets for? Well, mainly shops, taverns, manors and mansions, any location related to food really, homes or gardens, and castles and keeps should benefit from the assets as well. These are the first things to come to mind though, you might be able to find more applications with some creativity. To give you an idea how a conjunction of both FA and White Fox Works assets might look like, I asked Mulk, also an active member and helping hand of settlers in her community, if I could show you guys his map. Luckily he said yes, otherwise I'd be in trouble right now, so thanks for that Mulk. I'll link to his map and the two I made in the background in the video description as well. Now, let's get off script for the remainder of the video and take a look at the maps in the background, the hybrid map and some of the best assets in the pack. Alright, and here we are. I would quickly just like to go over both the maps, the things that I liked or disliked, and just to give you my thoughts on both of these map pieces and the design of the map in general. I intend to make a exact copy of these maps for every different type of asset pack I use simply because I think it will use plenty of different things from the pack to properly show it off and it also doesn't take me too long to make. The map on the right hand side by White Fox Works took me about say one hour to make. The one for Forgotten Adventures took me a bit longer. Also because I had to reference the White Fox Works map quite a few times because I made that one first. Um, but also because I'm more familiar with it and I have the specific things that I do with Forgotten Adventures uh, to make everything look good. Though it is important to mention that I did try to do it in sort of the same time um, as to not get a very big difference uh, because I might have spent a lot of time detailing one map or the other. Now. One thing I think White Fox Works really excels at is these, well, I'm going to call them flower boxes for now. Um, she has a few pre-made in her asset packs and also these ones over here. And especially with these lines over it really makes it look like you have your own vegetable garden. That was something I couldn't really pull off with Forgotten Adventures. I had to use some rope and uh, some fence, which in the end looks fine as well, actually. Um, and the one over here I get bashed together from pieces of the staircase and the modular stair pieces. Though I have to say that I do really like the ones that White Fox Works has. Another thing that I really like about White Fox Works and I think is a nice comparison of the two different assets are the boxes. Um, they're really close together in style and I might even say that I think the White Fox Works boxes look better. I really like how the nails are popping out here and these ones could be combined really well um, along with like these tables um, th these are viking viking tables i really like this bed as well the different color patches um, as a blanket from first is just awesome and also the food is spectacular it remains one of my favorite things from the asset packs but i'll gloss over that in a minute um, other things, however, that Forgotten Adventure does do better are the windows. Um, the windows and doors are there are quite a few in um, in the White Fox Works packages, but not as many as in uh, as in Forgotten Adventure. So that makes sense. And of course, the textures. Um, I played around with the new textures by Forgotten Adventures, uh, which look really good. I'm I'm very happy with those, and I think they all look cool in new maps. Um, and that's something that White Fox Works hasn't touched upon just yet. Though I have to say that, for example, the trees would work quite well together and uh, also the barrels uh, look good. So there are plenty of things that work together really well and especially if you have it all in one style, it looks, it just looks good. Uh, and I really like it that you can use only White Fox Works assets to make a house or anything like that and you don't need any supplements for it. Also, a nice little detail are these lights by the window. They were lights that you can put in there so you can determine the intensity and you can just drop them in front of windows on tables and they give these nice patterns and this, this is really cool. And I think this could work with uh, Forgotten Adventures as well, but with many different kind of asset packs. Uh, and that's very, that's very good looking. Um, I like that a lot. Also, the bottles look great and she has like a lot of these clutter objects and clothing that you can use that when combined can really complement one another 
and I think this gives you quite a nice idea of uh, of what the asset pack entails. And that brings me to the next point, which is uh, diving into the map made by Monk and to show you guys how it looks when you combine these two together. So this is the map made by Mulk. You might have seen it on Reddit. It did actually quite well with, I believe, about 250 upvotes. And this is an excellent example of how you can combine these two different asset creators into one piece. So right here, you can see that this is one of the, the hearts by Forgotten Adventures. But I see some feathers from uh, White Fox Works, some of the little trinkets in here as well, the books and the papers are all white fox works then um, the plants are a mixture of both as well the trees are forgotten adventures for sure though these small bushes here with the flowers are uh, again white fox works and altogether this looks this looks very good i know for a fact that lighting has been done in um, some different software so that's why you might see some results that uh, you wouldn't be able to achieve in dungeon draft um, this is actually the elven furniture I was talking about, which goes really well with the rest of the house and the flooring as well. And here you have some mushrooms, onions, that's all white fox works. Um, and the kitchen here has plenty of food elements as well, which is one of the other strengths of white fox works. So if you would like to, you know, take a moment to just scroll over the map and see all the things that have been done here, um, the link to this map will be in the description of the video. And if you like it, uh, give it an upvote. And if that's not possible, leave a comment so that uh, Mulk feels appreciated as well. So now I would quickly want to go over the assets that I like most. And I have two separate images for those, which are these ones. They are a little representation of the foods and the clothing that are in the packs. And the clothing pieces have received a rework, I believe, not that long ago, which made them look very crisp uh, with some really, really good looking colors and some color schemes. I, I love the yellow and black here. Um, and of course, the garden gnomes um, well, with my channel. You can't really not like those, right? There are all kinds of different pieces, folded, not folded. You have shoes or sandals. There's plenty of headgear in there as well, skirts and dresses some of the clothing pieces are a tad modern perhaps but i don't think that really matters that much and uh, there's also plenty of clothing that i can assume uh, was worn in for example the middle ages as well and then you have the food on the other side which is just very very tasty looking i actually made this little piece over here when i was hungry and i was really having a hard time um but it looks very good and you can just especially the pizza you can just slap this in between Forgotten Adventures or Tom Carter's and it gives a feeling of luxury, uh, but also for uh, if you have like a wedding scene or some big party that's going on or a festival, I think all the foods that you have here uh, are kind of a must have to give it enough diversity. Um, a marketplace would work as well for that. Uh, you'd have plenty of diversity for different styles and make sure that there's plenty interesting to see on the map. Uh, so that's cool. Now, lastly, I would like to go over a few of my favorite assets in the pack and compare them to one another, just so that you know what you're uh, what you're getting. And we'll start at the top left here because this is a something I made a video about recently. On the left hand side, you see a Forgotten Adventures pan with um, a water pattern in there to make some sort of soup. You can just pull it all out together. Um, there we go and uh this is kind of tricky to make or at least it takes a little moment to do it all um but in the newest pack if i recall correctly um, sunless made this and it's mind-boggling it's brilliant this this is so much easier to do you could add in a little shadow path on top uh like like so and make sure that that uh, that it really feels like it's inside the bucket but you could also do it like this because now it looks like the bucket is just very full and uh, I thought that this alone was worth mentioning. It's really cool. These boxes are also from the newest packs. Um, you have a few different ones. I really like the dragon eggs from a den or whatever. This is, this is very cool looking. You have plenty of foods and um, strawberries, potatoes, anything you might want to have there. Also dragon skin. And there's plenty of potions uh, and also loot boxes if I... Um, correctly you'll have to pay for those uh, no just kidding but there is a lot of loot in them and i think i have those at the bottom 
Well, these are at least some barrels with loot and so it's sort of the same thing. Then I mentioned the alchemy set in the earlier sections of the video. Uh, these are the pieces that I was actually was talking about. This one is a prefab, it's already made. But you can also use all these separate pieces to create something as big as you like. Uh, you could fill a whole room with it. I think that would actually be a very cool idea for a battle map that you'd end up in a potion shop. And there are all these different kind of potions standing around and these different kind of brews that you can drink or throw at your enemies to have very random effects. I think I read this on Reddit some at some point um, and I still want to do that. That's very cool. Uh, there is also some small accessories um, that you can use. So there's that. You have these paths that are books. Uh, these are really great, uh, very useful to add in cabinets or whatever. And you have the beds and the different styles to give you an idea what that looks like. The Viking have fur, uh, the Alban have these branches over the top and uh, the rest of the furniture is that's kind of the trademark. Uh, it employs the same idea. And these are the regular beds. Um, and actually it might be interesting to quickly put in a forgotten adventure bed. Okay, there we have it. Let's pick a somewhat flattering color. Dark red looks cool. And we'll place that down on the side here. Get off. That's how it compares to a Forgotten Adventures bed. And that, that works. That works perfectly fine. This looks a bit more worn than, um, than these. These look a bit newer. But very cool. And especially if you have a Viking or Elven themed uh, battle map, this, these are, I would definitely recommend those. You have these rugs as well with a rug line and a pattern that you can make. Uh, so you can make the rugs as big as you like. Uh, there's also a table and um, a table pathway. And this is the staircase from White Fox Works, which looks really good. And I think if you applied the previous, one of the previous videos that I made uh, with the shadowing of staircases on this, it will look very good in your maps as well. Uh, they're dice, clickety clacks, of course. I had to put them in here because who doesn't love them and i quickly want to gloss over the modular barrels as well you have these broken ones and this is this is neato um you can just put it on top and you can still see what's in the grate actually and we can scale a little bit over to the side uh, as well as here uh, we have uh, what are you doing over here please get out you have these pump grenades and um, you can just put a lid on top of it. The barrel's barely standing, uh, but it looks uh, it looks great. So these are more or less the favorite assets that I have in here, but um, there are plenty more. Let me quickly search for you guys where it starts over here. Yeah, White Fox works. You start with alchemy supplies and it's this entire list of assets and it's really long. And it's also very specified. So if you, you need uh, eggs, for example, um, they are over here. And they're also divided in separate type of eggs. Uh, everything for farm, which can be very useful to have it um, back like that. So that, you know, if I need anything for a farm, you can find it there. There's also some uh, special effects in here. Spell effects, flag balls. Um, these are the clothing pieces I was talking about. Um, some of them. That's the folded clothing, but there's much more and it goes all the way down even further than this um, to here but i think this is the last one so that's about it for now folks this is the asset pack review of white fox works i hope you like this kind of video i'm very curious to hear what you think of it in the comments um let me know what you think of white fox works if you liked it please go check her out i think it's definitely worth your time and also if you have an idea for other asset makers that you'd like me to review um, please drop them in the comments i intend to make more videos like this maybe make it a once a month uh, thing and uh, we can check out something new um, another one that i would very much like to check out is uh, tom carto's uh, he has some very cool looking assets and i also did uh, crosshead studios once so I might be revisiting him in the future as well. There's also one last thing. As of right now, I have fired up a Discord server. I did it mainly because I didn't want to ping my patrons every time a new video goes live, but I also just want to start building a community around the videos that I make, but also the maps. And I realized that there are plenty of other creators out there that have their own server, but um, oh well, can't stay behind then. 
Um, so I set it up and I would be very happy to see you guys in there as well. I'll uh, put an invitation link to the server in the description of the video so that you guys can uh, hop in and join. Come say hi if you feel like it. Um, and in the Discord server, I post some updates and announcements on new videos. You can find me there as well if you ever want to ask me something um, or just have a nice chat. And uh, it's still very small, but uh, I hope it will grow soon. I will expand on all the features it has uh, when there's some more people in there and we have an idea of what we want to do with it. So that was it for now, folks. If you liked the video, please hit the like, favorite and subscribe button and ring the sub notification bell if you want to stay up to date of all my content. And I definitely hope to see you again in the next video.